Manuel Araya, former personal secretary and driver to Nobel Prize winning Chilean poet Pablo Neruda, has spent 40 years telling the world his boss was murdered on the orders of dictator Augusto Pinochet. Now he finally feels vindicated. Following a petition by the Chilean Communist Party, a court ordered Neruda's body to be exhumed for a fresh autopsy, and Araya says he knows what they will find. He was murdered with an injection he was given on the 23rd of September at four in the afternoon, and he died five hours later. Neruda died in September 1973, just 12 days after a military coup killed his friend, the left-wing president Salvador Allende, and put General Pinochet in power. For Araya, the world-renowned communist poet was too powerful a symbol for the regime to allow him to leave the country. Neruda had won the Nobel Prize, and on top of that he was a communist. Neruda was a big fish in the country, and important for Pinochet. If Neruda had left Chile, it would have been awful for Pinochet. His regime wouldn't have lasted more than three months. Neruda's cause of death was recorded as cachexia, extreme malnutrition caused by his prostate cancer. But there are doubts about both the death certificate and the doctors who signed it. Araya and other witnesses say the poet was lucid and a normal weight immediately before his death. He had cancer, but it was under control. He could have lived another 10 years. He limped because of the phlebitis in one leg, but he wasn't on the verge of death, not at all. Neruda's body lay in state here in his house in Santiago, but he was buried at another property on Isla Negra, facing the Pacific Ocean. Forensic experts are worried the salinity of the soil and the passage of time will make it impossible to establish how the poet really died. Despite the technological progress we've made, the damage caused by time and the sea could make it impossible for us to ever really know if the poison existed. Although we are already absolutely certain Neruda did not die a natural death. Chilean justice will see if the autopsy can confirm that conviction and add Pablo Neruda to the list of more than 3,000 people who are known to have died during Pinochet's regime.